Hello and thank you for clicking on my video. Today I will share with you four things that you should set up on your Synology NAS when you just got it home from the store and you're just eager to get it running. Okay? And make sure to stick around to the end because I might throw in a bonus tip for you. Okay, cool, let's go. Okay, so here comes the first one. Go into the control panel, select users and add a new administrative account. Then when you have added the new administrative account, log out of the current admin account that you just logged into. Then log in with your new administrative account and go back into control panel, go into the users again and deactivate or de disable the admin account. This is very important security measure that we need to do. Some people are always trying to brute force attack on the admin account. So it's very important that you disable this one. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, so log in as your administrative account. Let's go into control panel, click on task scheduler, click on create, schedule task, recycle bin. When you click this, you go to the tab schedule and set the schedule to whatever you want. I have set mine to daily because it's kind of okay for all the recycle bins to be emptied daily. And remember that this is a setting that you need to think a bit about because if you want a recycle bin to be emptied once every 14 days or so, then you set it here. When you click OK, you will be prompted with a, a question saying, do you want to enable recycle bins on all shared folders? In this case, you should, you should definitely say no. The thing is that you might not want uh, recycle bins on all your shared folders. So in this case, click no, trust me. So you heard some weird noises under this video? Hmm, might be because of this guy. Weird noise reveal. Can you make weird noises again now? So people will trust me that it's you? Hmm. Okay, ready for number three. Okay, so this next tip will require you to use BTRFS when you create your storage volumes, but it's a very important step. So make sure to use BTRFS. Okay, so you go to your package center, go and find the snapshot replication package and install this. When it's installed, go to your menu, select snapshot replication, and in here you can set up snapshots for certain folders in your storage volumes. This is a very important step because this makes you able to go back in time if something happens to your files. This includes ransomware attacks, so it's very, very cool. It can also work as kind of a backup for you, so that you can go back in time if you change the document that you shouldn't have changed or something like this. So make sure to set up the snapshot replication. You don't need to set up snapshot replication for all of your shared folders, but you can choose the ones that matter to you. So just go into the snapshot replication and set up snapshots where you need them. So to set up a snapshot, you go into snapshot replication, you go into snapshots, then you select the folder that you want to take snapshots off, then you click on settings, and here you can set your desired schedule. When you've set your schedule, you click on retention, uh, the retention tab, and here you can set how many days you want to keep a snapshot. This is basically how many days you want to be able to go back in time. Okay, so it's up to you here. Cool, when you're done, click OK. Okay, so I think we got to step four. Congratulations, you made it this far. I'm proud of you. Cool, well done. You look great too. So let's go into step four. Go to your control panel. Go into hardware and power settings on your left menu. Then you can select the general tab. So here you can find something saying restart automatically when power issue is fixed. This will make sure that your NAS is booting up again if your power fails and the power comes back. I got this bonus tip for you. Are you ready? This is tip number five. Go to the control panel once again and now go into notifications. The first tab you will see is something about emails. Here you can enable email notifications and you can authenticate with your Gmail account. So it uses Gmail servers to send emails from your NAS. So this is a very nice setting because this will give you notifications if your NAS is running into issues of any sort. So let's say your smart check fails on some of your hard drives, then you will get a notification of which hard drive is failing. You can get notifications if you're running out of disk space and you can get notifications uh, if your 
Nancy's coming back from a power outage. And that's some things that are nice to know. So thank you again for clicking on my video. If you're in the market for a new NAS, then why not check out this video up here or up here that I made about my disappointment in the DS923 Plus model from Synology. Maybe you should go with the older one. Who knows? I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please click the like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more of this content. And leave a comment down below if there's something you need me to elaborate on. And I hope you will have, be having a very, very nice day. Okay, bye-bye.